so hello guys i couldn't hold myself so i'm trying the 7.0 of sibmod so we need some payload i think 1300 1300 is good and 55 59 61 that was too much 11,000 uh, back uh, 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 59 and f let's fix the 1200 21 not satisfied 1400 20.6 that's quite good 20.6 uh, 20. okay let's go with this first test sys display um, so can be a little bit like this uh, so let's look at the input from the elevator. So I, I when I'm when I'm uh, maybe I should show maybe I should show uh, the Brunner things. Uh, so here we have the Brunner yoke and I have profile and here I can see the input of pitch and p input of role of course under analog inputs i don't have anything and axis range i don't have any lin uh, that is an uh, if this setting is activated a negative and positive move limit are not identical center position will be automatically recalculated so the axis is linear through its complete travel set this to 100 percent also um for settings there is nothing axis range analog input so uh, anyway i can't set any any anything here and if i go to joystick you can see there is nothing here absolutely nothing so in some way i had this virtual joystick uh, so i can use this virtual joystick in let's go back to the brunner software and ah uh, that is a problem with the brunner uh, that you um so I can't go to settings without disabling that, but I can I can stop it and go to I can disconnect and go to settings and use uh, emulate uh, USB uh, hid joystick. I can do that, but then I loses every everything from Sibo. And I don't want to do that, so so I can't do that. Uh, and let's reconnect. And let's go back. So in this, we can see the trim. So let's wait for. I'm waiting for the. Yeah, now now I have controls. It's it's basically the same. The sys display is the same. So if I pull push to two thousand, it's basically in the middle, and it should be in the middle at six thousand two hundred and fifty. Six thousand two hundred fifty, but it's almost in the end on the sys display. So the curve seems to be applied on this too i think it should be applied uh, after this so it reads the stick input 
more of yeah it reads the stick input and then he can send whatever he wants to the sim mod so yeah 3300 that is and as you can see on the other side it's basically the other way so i, I get to the stop at about 7000 uh, let's say 0 0.7 8, 7 so at 80 percent i got so just the sys display is not ah uh, anyway let's program the route fmc position uh let's do yeah esgg so root root is gg one way zero three um so fuel weight reserves two cost index 99 high speed 120 feet top of Clyde outside air temperature cruise wind no dew point nothing here execute if in this request just test it what happened N1, 24K, 93.9, and let's set it to 16, like in level D, and 24K, 94.2, so this is actually better, this is actually better, takeoff, flap 5, 20.6, uh, and trim value 5.55 and departure 0 3 top plot 3 m departure arrival ILS 0 3 risma 4 l legs page remove risma copy to scratch pad activate execute so there we have it n1 limits take off So there we have it. This will be interesting, to say the least. So flaps three, 175. So 174 have to do. And flight director on, 22, 22. I have noticed that some things doesn't cop, uh, get saved when uh, the, uh, some things doesn't get saved when saving a situation and uh, the course is one of them uh, so we have it like that some lights and fasten seatbelt sign and no smoking should be allowed. <laughs> Remember the time when people were allowed to smoke in a plane. That That is a strange time. Really strange time. Anyway, rejected takeoff. And some lights. And T transponder and some lights here too so like that and like should have done this so now we have that so actually now if I save a situation like this uh, course doesn't get saved uh, the flap get saved there are some things that doesn't get saved I think this button I don't remember 100% but course doesn't get saved and some other thing I will I maybe I can 
do another video about just that safe situation thing but it, it works better anyway anyway let's 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 go so i actually have programmed the button for the toga so pushing the nose forward Eighty knots. So the nose gear is in the air, it sounds like. V1, V1, this is much better. This is much better. Gear up, possibly to climb. Should have said possibly to climb, gear up. But this is not correct. So I have 5.74, 5 in 4 in trim, and it continues up. It should basically stay there when I have neutral yoke. But I can trim it forward and have it better. So I will push on the autopilot. Stow gears. Lights off. Yes. Uh, five. There is large movement of the the trim. Anyway, the set set HSI seems to match quite good with no. So now it's pushing the nose down very much. That is strange. Very much. And it has trimmed to six. Should not. Should stay basically at five. No. Uh, let's put up some flaps. Actually, takeoff is was better, I think. But the trim is hysteric still. And so flaps up, speed check, standard pressure, and now it's at seven. That is strange. Wonder if anything has changed with the flight model. Didn't say so, man, but plane maker. So we will push this in and it should have been 94% N1 and now it's at 91.2. So that is not really correct. Inter it would be interesting to see how the route got calculated this time. No, no change there with the Vena profile. Turn off lights. So the Vena profile is not where it should be, and trim is still a little aggressive or and the sys display is still not linear. Should be linear after the... Yeah. It should be linear with the yoke input. So 
where the signal comes in from the yoke, that is where this should be measured, I think. Uh, it isn't the best way, and in real life, of course, it is the, the real elevator where it's positioned, but... So we have... Seven point nine in dihedral. One five six three. One is if all these numbers are correct. One thing I noticed is that in uh, the not the wing uh, mix wing. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, System. No. Engine specs. Wing. Here. We have. Controls. Elevator 1. We can see that it is 22. And 26 control surfs down then up. I don't think this is really correct. I think it should be 24.3 or something. But let's not go, go into that. Let's see what the autopilot is doing instead. It's at 3000 feet. We prepare with two in auto break. Now it's 3.93. Yeah, with this speed, of course. Yeah. So let's look at how the plane behaves. No. So this. It's not what the throttle should do. It should not increase throttle when it's going to be uh, going to idle. But I guess I'm just just not satisfied. <laughs> should be at idle the whole whole approach. That's the whole purpose of VNAV to have an economic calculation of the approach not use any fuel so now it's already behind I think trim is trimming should trim backwards because it is losing speed and then the stabilizer will be less effective. But drag required also. Yeah, I should not get the drag required. I have no winds, so it should be no problem. Will not. That is at least quite close. We can see elevator. It's around zero. This this should also be at zero. So you can see that the numbers here on the elevator is almost zero. And this is a bit up. Now it's minus, but it's yeah. Ah uh, that I think the sys display this should be calibrated in some way. So we have 60 knots over the speed we should have here. In the level D we had 4 knots over. 45, 46, something like that we had there. But anyway. It's 
continue the same approach. And we can 110 30 for the ILS frequency and 110 30 for the ILS frequency. Yeah, I, I understand that this is really complex, complex things to tune. I've been uh, trying to modify flight models for Microsoft Flight Simulator for quite some time, and it's it's damn hard. It's almost impossible. You change in one place, and then something else breaks, and you change in one change in one place, and then and then something else changes uh, so for example if you change something with central gravity the whole trim gets gets strange and then you change something with the stabilizer and something's changed and you move the position of the stabilizer and then something's changed and then you try to do something with the with the wings to change lift or li where where how the li wing profile is and then something else change and then then it just continues like this So flight model things is really complex. I don't know how good uh, Twixter is uh, adjusting the flight model, but uh, at least uh, Nico is very impressed of his job. So he's, he must do something right. <laughs> And if I knew how to modify explain flight model, I will would probably try to do that. But <laughs> and to be honest, I have tested a little, but well, did not change anything. I changed trying to change the size and degrees of things, but ah, didn't help. Did not help much would be interesting to see what values values some really good plane have um, I don't know if Toolis is a good aircraft but I've heard that they are very good anyway as soon as I start this Start. This starts to go into the center. Now it's moving. Now I actually can arm the approach mode. So now we will see how it behaves when getting close to the glide slope. We still have some over sp speed. Uh, drag required. No. Enough profile definitely needs some tuning. And you should always, according to the pulse, you should always hold in this. If you have to put it down, you can't let it go when you when you put out flap uh, speed brakes in in the air. You you should not let go of it. We are flying simulators, so why should we should we let go of anything? Uh, why shouldn't we let go of anything? So now speed is starting to get good, and we can put one degree of flap out. And N1 is... So, single channel. Should I try an auto land? Is there any meaning of that? 
Oh, if if there w- would be Outland updates, I think Sibul or Lubos w- would tell us. So, anyway, put some gear out. Speed, speed check, flap 10. Speed check, flap 15. Speed check, flaps 25. And speed check, flap 30. And we should have sixty one, if I'm not mistaken. Let me correct. No, 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 forty six. Forty six. I'm. What am I thinking? So this will be interesting. So this is quite. Cr- I don't know the the hysteric uh, hysteric trim is still present. It should not be this active. Um, anyway, is there something I've forgotten? So. We have flaps 30, and as you can see, the elevator is now pitched up a little, which is correct, and the nose should be pitched down a little, because if we are going to do a go-around, the plane should... Ah, that's not correct. So it's absolutely... So now if I disconnect... Uh, autopilot. Now, if I disconnect autopilot, no, it should go up. Yeah, that's correct. And I will trim a little down. And it should be around forty eight. 58 dive so let's see if I can do a good landing this time Quite smooth, but I expect even more that I have to pull the, uh, the elevator more. But now it's starting to get r- really tricky, actually. Now it's it's starting to get into those hard to distinguish between level D. Because in the real aircraft you have you can move the the controls about about 41 centimeter and that is quite long and with mo- most uh, most yokes you can't you can't do that uh, so what can I have 10 centimeters forward and backwards so I, I have 50 percent less less input but basically, if I move it to four, uh, four or five, 
it should be I should have to pull quite a lot to not plant the aircraft too hard in the in the ground. That's at least my experience in the in the level D. But it, yeah, it's getting better. Some things still have problems, but it's getting there. So thank you everyone for this, uh, looking and thank you Sib of course. L Lubos, I think it's called Lubos. Lubos. Yeah.